this is the HP Laser 1008W. So this is one of the cheapest uh, wireless printers in the market, okay? And the reason why this is so popular is because it is not only compatible with the desktop operating systems like Windows, Linux, or Mac OS, it's also compatible with iOS and Android. So yes, that's the main reason. Another reason why this is getting so popular is because the cartridge inside is unofficially refillable and people who say they're the chip inside and that prevents you from refilling the cartridge no that's not the case you can easily cover the chip with a tape or something like that and you can easily get it refilled over and over again at least three to four times before you need to change the drum as well so that's the main reason why i got this okay and this is what you get inside in some papers and this is the power adapter even though it is wireless you need to plug it in somewhere right and it also offers usb printing so you can do the old school printing as well this is the tray uh, which we will be attaching later on and this is the printer by the way this is not the tray paper tray this is the dust car apparently so yeah, you got to put it above the tray to prevent the dust from entering. Pretty useful for dusty places like where I live, India. So yeah, this is the printer. Very compact, about the same size as my outgoing laser printer, which by the way was also an HP, HP 1020. And I used it for mighty 10 years before I resold it to somebody else. So that pretty much tells you because that was basically a copy of a Canon LBP2900 and that's a workhorse that can work I don't know in maybe on Mars or maybe on uninhabitable conditions and I'm going to put this printer as well to the same uninhabitable conditions so let's see it comes with a dust tray as well so yeah I'm pretty optimistic about it by the way if you're wondering how much i paid so the online on amazon it's about twelve thousand nine 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 which is about thirteen thousand indian rupees i bought it unofficially from uh, my local store for twelve thousand five hundred i price matched them like i told him hey i'm getting this much on amazon what's your best price so and on top of that i was able to sell my old <laughs> printer for are much cheaper for i think three thousand which is like a throwaway price for that work cost but yeah i have fixed instructions from someone that you need to get rid of it to you know before you get a new printer at our home you need to get rid you can need to get rid of that ugly shit so yeah that pretty much tells you and uh, this is what you get inside What's that? Okay, so I need to pull this as well. So, yeah, if you don't remove it, the printing won't apparently work. And now we're gonna put this inside. Pretty much straightforward. And yeah, and now I'm gonna install the HP software and let's see how it works, okay? Okay, now you need to set up set it up using USB cable on your com on your computer or laptop. And once you've done that, make sure you are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. But this is very important. If you're on the same Wi-Fi network, your printer will be instantly recognized. Yeah. And after that, after that, go play store or fire up App Store, right? And then search for HP Print plugin. You gotta install it because you'll be needing this. After this, once you install this, this will basically allow you to install or sorry, print from any app. Okay. And now you will find print in the extended menu in every single app. So 
because I'm black when I open gallery and let's say I want to make a printout of this photo I just tap on it go to menu and just select print now you can select this HP printer from the select printer menu and it will convert into black and white give you an idea of how it is going to look very useful app very useful plugin and that's all about it hope you like this video bye bye